Hey guys, so a lot of you have noticed that I have a little object dock, like a Mac computer, down the bottom of my screen. And some of you have been asking how to get that, so this is a tutorial on how to get one of these using a program called StarDock. So we're just going to go ahead and open up our internet browser. And we're just going to search up StarDock. And then they have their website here. But you can just you can just do like object doc. I'll have the link in the description. So yeah, here it is. As you can see, there's already like a little look of what it is. It's an animated doc for Windows. It works on every Windows, Windows Seven, Vista, uh, thirty-two bit, sixty-four bit, all that. It's free download. But there's also a paid version, which is a lot better, but who could pay when you could just get it for free? So, we're just going to click download, and we're just going to hit download now. But I already have it. It's just simple. You just click save as to the desktop, you like run the installer, and then eventually when you're done, it'll actually just pop up like this. I'm pretty sure it starts up at the top. And you can just edit all the options from here. If you just like right click on it, you can have the options. There's quick things you can do, shortcuts you can add them and all that. You can change the view. I have auto hide on. If you just select that, you'll see that it's always there. There's a whole bunch of different options like uh, I, I prefer that. And you can have always on top. I like to have it deselected. I don't even know where it was. Because then when you open programs, it's always down the bottom instead of in front. But if you put your thing all the way, if you put your cursor all the way down to the bottom, it comes back up. So it's quite a good feature. It's a great free program. You might as well just get it. It's free. Who doesn't love free things? I personally like auto hide. And if you want to fully customize it, hit settings. You can change position, you can actually change it sp specifically, like so. You can change like top edge of screen, you can put it to like there, whatever. Okay, you can change the style or the colour, transparency and all that. I'm uh, just going to leave mine how it is. You can also edit the icon transparency, like so. I like them to be full there because I like be being able to see them. You can change the size, position, effect. The effect is a good feature. You can have it to like swing so it goes like that instead, or glow, or none, or bubble. So it's just a real good thing. And you can you can change the zoom amount. <laughs> as you can see, it's good to keep it low though, because as you can see, it's a bit crazy. Whoa. So I'm just going to set that back. And sorry guys, I'm trying to keep it down because everyone's currently sleeping. Oh, I don't want to wake them up. And I've got a bit of a cold as well. So sorry for the inconvenience. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how to get an object dock. Like the one off a Mac computer. Onto your Windows computer. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.